Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. So today we are gonna talk about how to assess the quality of a wine. And I find this to be such an important topic for a wine consumer because wine, you know, you may be spending 30, 50, 100, $200 on a bottle of wine. So you should be treating it like an investment. And I think sometimes when you are doing wine tasting, where you're visiting multiple wineries in a day, when you're at a bottle shop going through a tasting, you can be tasting a variety of wines and you may just get a little tangled in your head on what a good wine is and which one stands out from the lineup. And you may have had an experience in the past where you visited a beautiful winery and you purchased several bottles of that winery's wine only to open it a few weeks later at your house to realize that it wasn't as magical as how you remembered it. So I'm gonna walk you through a four step process on how to assess if you are drinking a quality bottle of wine so you can purchase wine in the future with some confidence. So I use, like to use the acronym BLIC and that is balance, length, intensity, and complexity. So whether you are drinking a white wine, a red wine, a rosé, an orange, a sparkling, and any color on the rainbow in between, you can use, you can always go back to the Blick acronym when assessing the wine. So first one, let's talk about balance. First, let me take a sip of wine. You can swirl it around, you can just swallow, whatever your strategy is. When you are looking at the balance or when you're assessing the balance of a wine, when you go to take that first sip, or even if you're on your 30th sip, does it kind of have balance on your palate? Is it hitting all the corners of your mouth? So are you feeling it in on the sides of your palate, on the roof of your mouth, on the bottom of your mouth? You wanna make sure that it kind of feels, it you know, tastes great in all areas of your mouth. So you don't want a wine that's super acidic where you're just puckering and there's nothing else happening in that wine to help balance out that acidity. Same with tannins. You know, if you have a really high tannin wine, you don't want to be just reaching for a glass of water. You want to make sure that there are other things in that wine to really kind of balance it out in your palate and create that soft texture and velvety feel in your mouth. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about balance is are you kind of is it hit in all areas of your palate then let's go into length so length simply is how long the taste of the wine lingers on your palate or in the back of your throat so if it's a wine that you take a sip of that you know after you swallow it just kind of disappears the flavors just disappear in your mouth that probably means that it's not that great of a quality of wine now, if you take a sip of a really good quality wine, you will notice that that taste of that wine really lingers there and kind of is, you may ponder it, you may just sit there and like take a moment and it stays with you. So that's how you know if you're drinking a good quality wine, if it has the length. Now let's go into intensity. So when you smell a wine and when you taste it, so. How intense are the aromas that are jumping out of the glass? How intense are the flavors? So, you know, if you are drinking a wine that when you stick your nose in the glass, if the wine is just sc screaming its aromas and just jumping out of the glass, that means that you have a really great wine. Also, when you are tasting that wine, if, you know, it's a really intense flavor in your mouth, that's also an indicator that you are drinking a great quality wine. And then finally, you have complexity. So when you go to smell a wine, similar to intensity, you know, when you go to smell a wine and we go to taste a wine, how complex are the aromas and the flavors of that wine? If you're just getting notes of lemon and apple in a wine, say if it's a white and that's it, that means it's not a very complex wine. But if you were getting notes of lychee, of lemon, ginger, apple, some biscuity notes in there, some vanilla. It's like there are so many different things that are coming to mind when you were smelling a wine, so many different aromas happening, so many different flavors happening when you take that first sip. That means that you are drinking a very complex wine. So as you know, to wrap things up, those are the four ways to tell if you are drinking a quality wine. You have 
balance, length, intensity, and complexity, or BLIC. And the more of those different criteria you can hit in a wine when you are tasting, that means the better quality it is. So if it has a lot of balance, but it doesn't have a lot of intensity or complexity, it's an okay wine. Um, same is true for all the other um, you know, points. But if you have a wine that kind of hits the balance, the length, the in intensity, the complexity, you know what, then you should go ahead and splurge on that bottle. And for the purposes today, I was just dr drinking a run-of-the-mill grocery store Pinot Gris from the Columbia Valley here in um, the Pacific Northwest in Washington. And you know, it's a pretty good Pinot Gris. It's one I'm gonna go take down with me to the beach today, um, but I'm not gonna drop a ton of money on this. So I think this was at the store, you know, between 10 and $20. So I think that's a good solid investment for this style of bottle. But I hope this gives you a little framework for when you are tasting wine at a local winery or a bottle shop and looking to make a good purchasing decision on wine. So that is it for today. Thanks for tuning in.